welcome to the lazy girls kitchen my name is maggie and today i'm going to share with you my recipe for my lasagna this lasagna is very popular in my household every holiday every occasion it's highly highly requested it's really easy it's delicious i think it's a little bit on the healthier side i do use a little bit more veggies than the typical lasagna but let me go over the ingredients with you so what i have in this bowl are the veggies that you're going to use in your ricotta mixture so i have some onions some mushrooms some spinach which is i think the star of the show to be honest with you i have some garlic and then some carrots you want to make sure that you do chop the carrots a little bit smaller because um, they're going to be cooking in the oven so you want to make sure that they cook all the way through and if they're too big they're not going to cook as quickly i have an egg i have some pasta sauce if you want you can use your own but since this is the lazy girl's kitchen we're going to go with the store-bought i have some mozzarella cheese which is shredded that we're going to top our lasagna with some parmesan some pepper i have some salt some dried oregano and parsley of course the ricotta cheese i have some oven ready lasagna you can use the regular lasagna i just find that this is much easier and of course we have the meat which i actually use ground turkey in this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my ricotta to my veggies and then i'm going to add the egg because you need a binder okay and then i'm just going to mix this all together making a mess here but that's okay all the different flavors in this lasagna are just they're so wonderful and they work so well together that it's so delicious okay so i'm gonna add in my salt oregano and parsley and then a generous sprinkling of pepper i love a little kick to my food so I always add that and then I add in some Parmesan cheese with the ricotta it's delicious and we're gonna mix this till it's really well combined okay so it looks like our mixture is pretty well combined so I'm gonna set this aside and I'm actually gonna get started on um, getting my meat ready so if you want to come over to the stove with me what I have in here is just a skillet with some olive oil Ooh, I can't get this I can't get it to light Ooh, okay there we go so on medium-high heat I'm just gonna let the olive oil heat up just a little bit before I put in my meat and then I'm just gonna season the meat with a little bit of salt and pepper just so it has a little bit of taste. You don't want it to be bland. So I'm gonna add in my ground turkey. And you can also feel free to use beef for this. I don't like beef as much in this recipe, but if that's what you use in a typical lasagna, you can feel free to do that too. Whatever you have on hand. And then we're gonna do some pepper and then some salt all right so i'm going to finish browning this up it's going to take about eight to ten minutes and then i'll meet you back here so we can assemble our lasagna okay so my ground turkey is cooked fully through so i'm going to let that sit for a second and we're going to start assembling the lasagna so we're going to start with the pasta sauce i always put a little bit on the bottom this helps it from getting sticky and also helps it from burning so i'm just gonna let me move this out of the way so i'm just gonna spread it all around on the bottom on the sides just so nothing is sticky we don't want any burnt lasagna noodles okay so that's good I do have a wonderful meat sauce recipe on um, my website, so you can always substitute just the regular pasta sauce for, um, for the meat sauce, which is amazing. So we're gonna put these here. And then I actually really enjoy a lot of sauce, so I'm gonna put it over the noodles again, but you don't have to. You could just put the ricotta. Okay.
Okay, now we're gonna do the cheese. So I do half on this layer and I save the other half for another layer. gonna do some more noodles then again I do pasta I mean um, the sauce you don't have to you can just put the meat on it but I just I love the more sauce for me the better okay. put some more here. and then I actually just put all of the ground turkey in one layer and I buy pretty lean ground turkey, so I don't have to drain it or anything. But if your ground turkey has a lot more fat, you'd want to drain that before you actually, um, before you put it in your lasagna. It's just going to make it really oily, and you'd I I like to avoid that. Okay, here we go. Another layer of noodles. I'm actually gonna put another one here. Okay. Some more sauce, of course. You guys, it smells so good already, and <laughs> it's not even in the oven, but I think once the meat hit all the flavors. It became so fragrant. All right, so then I'm gonna do the last of my ricotta mixture. Mm, wonderful. Just kind of spread it around. one last layer of pasta so for the top I'm just kind of gonna layer it like so I did a bad job with breaking that one but okay and then we're gonna put our last layer of sauce which I put a little bit more because like I said I love sauce Let's spread that around and just make sure you get all the edges so nothing burns or gets dry and then to finish this beauty off, we're gonna put some mozzarella. Just kind of sprinkle it on top. Oh, and then it gets so cheesy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this into my preheated oven, which is preheated at 400 degrees for one hour. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, so my lasagna was in the oven for exactly one hour and I took it out and just let it cool for a few minutes. I feel like it kind of keeps its shape better. I obviously have no self-control, so I'm gonna dig into this now. I should wait a little bit longer, but I'm not going to. Oh, oh it's falling apart. If I were to wait a little bit longer, it, it wouldn't fall apart like this. It would kind of keep its shape, but I have no patience. All right, let me give this a try. And just because I forgot to mention earlier, when I did put it in the oven, I actually put it with the aluminum foil on just because I don't like the cheese to get burnt. But that's an option. You don't have to do that. All right, let me get everything together. Oh, it's hot. Okay. 
so delicious. You definitely have to go to www.thelazygirlskitchen.com and make this recipe right away. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.